Today we are talking about rhythms, rests, and counting. So previously we did time signature of four four is like four counts in one bar, and each count is quarter note. Yeah, so this is quarter note going one two three four one two three four. Yeah, in each bar, right? So now we got eighth note, and uh, when the eighth notes come in. We count it one and two and three and four and all right, so it's gonna be one, two, quarter note and eighth note, one and two and three and four and right, and there is 16 notes here, which is gonna be one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a right. So, where the one, two, three, four are still the same, right? They are still going one, two, three, four, but the ends coming in between one and Between the one and two and three and four, and you can put E and R, which becomes sixteenth note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And finally, we have half notes in the last bar here, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, because they are worth two counts each, right? Let's see what else. Counting would be same with the rest. So there's like a quarter rest, which is one count. And there is an eighth rest, which is half a count, and sixteenth rest, which is basically a quarter of one beat, and of course half rest, which is two counts rest, right? And when there is a dot next to the note, which it makes basically the makes the note longer by half of its original length. So if it was one count, it becomes one and a half count, right? If it was originally two counts, it becomes three counts, right? If it was half a count like eighth note right it becomes like uh, you know 75% uh, of one count or three quarters of one count like three sixteenth notes worth right so it's like one E and R right that kind of, kind of complicated yeah uh, let me just play this for you this example it's gonna be Let me try again. One 